Hi everyone, that's me down there, for those of you who don't remember because I haven't made a video in a while. I've been taking a little bit of a break because of work and school and a few other things, so I just wanted to make this video to give everybody an update of what I've been up to. Going into 2022, I already have a couple of trips planned. We have some camping trips, we have some snowboarding trips. We're gonna be doing a lot of wakeboarding because that's just been super fun. Surfing when I get the chance, and then whenever we get some flat days during summer, I'll be heading out on my paddleboard offshore, do some fishing. So I hope you all stay subscribed. I hope you all continue to enjoy watching my videos, and I hope you all have an amazing new year. Is that how you get ready? Is that how you get warmed up? I think so. <laughs> just kidding. I, I really do want to warm up my shoulders. You got me afraid of them. So. No, that was just because I was being an idiot. I'll have her talk to you when she gets here. Yeah, sure. Something that's reasonably priced too, because that's what we look at. We don't look. I mean, I had an old John boat that looked just like that. Yeah, we hit. We hit a, the only time. Wait, I when did we hit a big rock on the Mako? When we were coming out of. Oh, the but the end, the, the lower unit hit a big rock. Yeah, the lower unit. Hit because it didn't follow the channel exactly. Yeah. Whatever it was, it was solid concrete, and my prop just went tink, 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 tink. Yeah. I trimmed it up right away. I kept floating. I was like, okay, this is good. We floated into the, like the actual channel, trimmed it back down, started right up, perfect. Zero dings on the stainless steel propeller. You know, just like, all right, it's good. We had another weird incident happen. We're full and like the engine just went like, like uh, oh yeah, and we stalled out. Yeah, we stalled out. We thought the engine. No, I think, I think, I think we hit an, I think we hit a sandbar. I think we hit a sandbar. Yeah, it might have been. A we were leaving the Fort Lauderdale sandbar, and I think we hit like a little sandbar or something. Like I, I don't think we just got. I don't think we got right into the channel. This guy's pulling out an eighty thousand dollar, like sixteen foot Hell's Bay flats boat. You know, which is seventy, eighty thousand dollars for this boat. Missing the lower unit on the engine. It's all like just ripped off. Oh, like, uh, he's pulling it out of the water. And I'm like, every day, all right, man. Like, what happened? He's like, dude, I've been a. He's like, I've been a charter guide here for thirty years. 
He said, I picked up this boat yesterday. I did my first charter on it this morning. I missed my channel by a foot. Ripped the whole lower unit off of his uh, brand new Yamaha. That probably, sucks. Oh, and then the whole bottom of the boat was destroyed. Yeah, it was probably like a $20,000 fuck up. And the guy's been running the same path every day for 30 years. Every day for 30 you years. Hell's Bay, you better be running the same path every day for 30 okay. years because. As you guys know, I am a kook. So, if I can just catch one wave. And those waves by the pier were actually, might be a little bit bigger beyond my uh, my skill level. So, I'm gonna go a little bit more to the, to the left of the pier where I saw some of the people that weren't as good surfing. Uh, waves are a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna throw on a wetsuit. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can just catch one wave. Thank <laughs> you. 